the dead joke and the funny man by james whitcomb riley read for librivox dot org by bev stevens long years ago a funny man flushed with a strange delight sat down and wrote a funny thing all in the solemn night and as he wrote he clapped his hands and laughed with all his might for it was such a funny thing oh such a very funny thing this wonderfully funny thing he laughed outright and so it was this funny man printed this funny thing forgot it too nor ever thought it worth remembering till but a day or two ago ah what may changes bring he found this self-same funny thing in an exchange oh funny thing he cried you dear old funny thing and sobbed outright end of poem this recording is in the public domain the dead joke and the funny man by james whitcomb riley read for librivox dot org by bruce kachuk long years ago a funny man flushed with a strange delight sat down and wrote a funny thing all in the solemn night and as he wrote he clapped his hands and laughed with all his might for it was such a funny thing oh such a very funny thing this wonderfully funny thing he laughed outright and so it was this funny man printed this funny thing forgot it too nor ever thought it worth remembering till but a day or two ago ah what may changes bring he found this self-same funny thing in an exchange oh funny thing he cried you dear old funny thing and sobbed outright end of poem this recording is in the public domain the dead joke and the funny man by James Whitcomb Riley, read for LibriVox.org by David Lawrence. Long years ago, a funny man, flushed with a strange delight, sat down and wrote a funny thing, all in the solemn night. And as he wrote, he clapped his hands and laughed with all his might, for it was such a funny thing, oh, such a very funny thing, this wonderfully funny thing he laughed outright and so it was this funny man printed this funny thing forgot it too nor ever thought it worth remembering till but a day or two ago ah oh, what may changes bring he found this self-same funny thing in an exchange oh funny thing he cried you dear old funny thing and sobbed outright End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Dead Joke and the Funny Man by James Whitcomb Riley. Read for LibriVox.org by Leanne Howlett. Long years ago, a funny man, flushed with a strange delight, sat down and wrote a funny thing all in the solemn night and as he wrote he clapped his hands and laughed with all his might for it was such a funny thing oh such a very funny thing this wonderfully funny thing he laughed outright and so it was this funny man printed this funny thing forgot it too nor ever thought it worth remembering till but a day or two ago ah what may changes bring? He found this self-same funny thing in an exchange. Oh, funny thing, he cried, you dear old funny thing, and sobbed outright. End of poem. 
This recording is in the public domain. The Dead Joke and the Funny Man by James Whitcomb Riley, read for LibriVox.org by Matthew Datcher. Long years ago, a funny man, flushed with a strange delight, sat down and wrote a funny thing all in the solemn night. And as he wrote, he clapped his hands and laughed with all his might, for it was such a funny thing, oh, such a very funny thing, this wonderfully funny thing, he laughed outright. And so it was this funny man printed this funny thing, forgot it, too, nor ever thought it worth remembering, till but a day or two ago. Ah, what may changes bring! He found this self-same funny thing in an exchange, oh, funny thing! He cried, you dear old funny thing, and sobbed, outright end of poem this recording is in the public domain the dead joke and the funny man by james whitcomb riley read for librivox dot org by scotty smith long years ago a funny man flushed with a strange delight sat down and wrote a funny thing all in the solemn night. And as he wrote, he clapped his hands and laughed with all his might, for it was such a funny thing, oh, such a very funny thing, this wonderfully funny thing. He laughed outright. And so it was this funny man printed this funny thing, forgot it too, nor ever thought it worth remembering, till but a day or two ago. Ah, what may changes bring? He found this self-same funny thing in an exchange. Oh, funny thing, he cried, you dear old funny thing, and sobbed outright. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Dead Joke and the Funny Man by James Whitcomb Riley, read for LibriVox.org by Thomas Peter. Long years ago, a funny man, flushed with a strange delight, sat down and wrote a funny thing, all in the solemn night. And as he wrote, he clapped his hands and laughed with all his might, for it was such a funny thing, oh, such a very funny thing, this wonderfully funny thing. He laughed outright. And so it was this funny man printed this funny thing, forgot it too, nor ever thought it worth remembering, till but a day or two ago. Ah, what may changes bring? He found this self-same funny thing in an exchange. Oh, funny thing, he cried, you dear old funny thing, and sobbed outright. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Dead Joke and the Funny Man by James Whitcomb Riley Read for LibriVox.org by The Voice Before the Void 2017 January On the North Dakota-Saskatchewan border TheVoiceBeforeTheVoid.net Long years ago, a funny man, flushed with a strange delight, sat down and wrote a funny thing, all in the solemn night. And as he wrote, he clapped his hands and laughed with all his might, for it was such a funny thing, oh, such a very funny thing, this wonderfully funny thing. He laughed outright. And so it was, this funny man printed this funny thing, forgot it, too, nor ever thought it worth remembering. Till but a day or two ago, ah, what may changes bring? He found this self-same funny thing in an exchange. Oh, funny thing, he cried, you dear old funny thing, and sobbed outright.
end of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Dead Joke and the Funny Man by James Whitcomb Riley Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish Long years ago a funny man, flushed with a strange delight, sat down and wrote a funny thing all in the solemn night. And as he wrote, he clapped his hands and laughed with all his might, for it was such a funny thing, oh, such a very funny thing, this wonderfully funny thing, he laughed outright. And so it was this funny man printed this funny thing, forgot it, too, nor ever thought it worth remembering. Till but a day or two ago, ah, what may changes bring, he found this self-same funny thing in an exchange. Oh, funny thing, he cried, you dear old funny thing, and sobbed outright. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.